six months into the worst Ebola epidemic in history, the world is losing the battle to contain it. Leaders are failing to come to grip with this transnational threat. In a speech to the United Nations member states at the beginning of September, MSF's international president signaled the failure of the current strategy for combating Ebola. No organization, and that includes MSF, is equipped to deal with the explosion in the number of cases, the dozens of infected health workers, and collapse of the affected country's health systems. Many of the member states represented here today have invested heavily in biological threat response. You have a political and humanitarian responsibility to immediately utilize these capabilities in Ebola-affected countries. MSF teams in the field are utterly overwhelmed. They've treated over a thousand confirmed Ebola cases in five treatment centers since the epidemic began. As soon as a facility opens, like here in Liberian capital Monrovia, beds fill up. All areas, all districts of the city uh, today have people dying and people getting sick every day. They are uh, asking for help. Uh, they, they don't know how, how to respond to this because if they call the hotline, no, nobody will come and pick them up because the system is completely overstretched. There are too many and the response is too weak. MSF staff see coercive measures such as enforced quarantine only add to the panic and increase the risk of civil unrest. Equally counterproductive is cancelling international flights. Not only does it compromise humanitarian aid efforts, but it also weakens countries already in crisis. Punishing or isolating affected countries won't turn the tide of this unprecedented epidemic. The urgent need is for more treatment centres, more mobile laboratories and more skilled staff.